Hey everybody, um, welcome to the channel. Um, I know a lot of people are super interested in the tech industry right now. So I know it's one of the hottest industries. People want to work at Facebooks, the Googles, um, really the top companies in the world where people are treated really well and they have a lot of employment opportunities as well as good benefits, good pay, um, interesting work. So. I wanted to give a chance to talk a little bit about Breaking Into Tech. Um, this is a book that I've written from my personal experience. Um, I am currently a software engineer at Instagram and I've taught people about programming um, back in my days of college as well as at the first startup that I was at and mentoring people even at Facebook. Um, and I've gone through the whole process from interviewing to giving interviews to people as well as getting offers from companies like Google, Facebook, Uber, you name it. Um, so I want to bring my expertise to you guys in the form of this book, Breaking Into Tech. Um, so I just want to take a little bit of time to give sort of an overview of some of the things that I think are super useful when you're making it into the tech industry. Um, I think maybe just want to talk about where to start. That's always the hardest part. People pick like what is the programming language that they want to decide on and they just get hung up on a programming language. It doesn't really matter what programming language you start from. What matters is that you build the foundational skills. So what I see a lot of beginners do is they just like pick one programming language, learn a little bit, like do a couple problems. Then they'll pick another programming language, do a couple problems, then do, pick another programming language. And I, I know because I was in the same state of mind that I have to like, you know, know C++, Python, Objective-C is just like every single programming language. And you don't want that. If you're constantly focused on learning more than one language, you're just going to be in a whole world of trouble because you're trying to learn the syntaxes of different languages the same time as understand foundational programming. Um, if I had one recommendation, it's just really focus on learning a topic one at a time. So I would recommend starting with some programming language, something like, let's say, JavaScript, because you can make front-end applications, back-end applications with JavaScript, and then just practicing it, taking like a, a beginner's course on it, and then working on a couple of your own projects with that. It really just takes having a little bit of uh, like experience with it and then diving deeper into it to really learn what it needs, what you need. Um, and then from there, everything just builds on it. So after you have like one course and then you have a couple side projects, you're already well on your way to becoming a programmer. You know, and it might not be the most impressive applications, you might feel ashamed, but that's perfectly okay. I know my first applications were really crappy, like static HTML, CSS pages, and um, you know, you just learn, you build, so don't sweat that too much. Um, but that's my tip for today, guys. I highly recommend you check out my book, Breaking Into Tech, if you want more tips. Um, you know, I talk a little bit about my experiences in programming and also had an opportunity to speak with Zuckerberg from some of the engineering work that I've done. So, you know, I have a lot of experience and I want to share some more with you. Hopefully I'll give up more videos, more tips. So hit that subscribe button and check out the book. Cool.